point, everyone. My name is Kimberly Wright. Welcome to the acronym MSOON, Making Something Out of Nothing. This class is all about recycling and upcycling crafts. All right, so today, last week we were making paper towel tubes or toilet paper tube crafts, which you can see on uh, this plate here. And today, we said that we were going to create something beautiful with cardboard. So continue to keep your uh, paper towel tubes. We possibly could combine the cardboard with the tubes as it pertains to the design aesthetic. So I hope you have uh, saved some cardboard. I'm going to start with um what i'm making today the first thing i wanted to say was um you have to first figure out what shape or design you're going to build we're going to be making a beautiful decorative shelf the shelf can just be art or you it's definitely functional where you're able to sit some things on top of it so uh, I just want to throw out there some things that you can possibly make with the shelf as it pertains to shapes. How about somebody possibly making a heart? You can make a heart shaped shelf. What about anything that has to deal with a circle? Like uh, a yin yang sign, you know, the sign that has black and white on each side with the dot in the center. How about a octagon? You can make simple geometric shapes. Octagon, square, triangle. A triangle would be really beautiful. So the first thing I'm going to get is my box. I saved the box that I broke down. As you can see, it was just a regular size box with sides and everything. As long as you have some cardboard, it's fine. So what I'm going to do is figure out uh, all you need to do is complete one shape, but just for to inspire you all, I figure I'm going to do about three shapes. You're going to need a ruler, definitely, to measure, and an ink pen. I'm going to use a Sharpie as well. So, what I'm going to be making, you have to figure out if you want to start next week or this week or even mimic what I'm making, it's totally up to you. All right, I'm going to just draw this line here. All we're going to be doing is making our uh, background shapes today as it pertains to what we are making. I think I need to come down just a bit on this side. All right. So even though I have my pencil and my ruler, I'm going to grab a few Sharpies to sketch out designs of what I want to make as it pertains to shells. And as you can see, the size of these boxes as pertains to my body, I, pros I probably will be able to get at least two to three shapes out of here for my background. All right, using my ruler once again, I'm just going to draw a couple of simple shapes and then I'll show them to you. And however you need to achieve your design, feel free. You can get 
shapes around the house that already have a particular type of shade or like even using this cardboard background like if I wanted to use that I could so I'm just going to draw a simple design here and you're going to need some scissors As soon as I am finished drawing this shape out, I will hold it up to show it to you. I have to lay the cardboard down to really get uh, my design right. So as you probably get in your mind what we are making, again, I say we're making cardboard shelves, you can figure out what design you decide, you will decide to make. Almost done. By next class, even though we'll just be cutting out these shapes today, I'm going to have mine painted because it takes a while to paint uh, pretty much. So, so far I have this shape here, which you can see is Africa, the shape of Africa. I'm going to make an African uh, design shelf. And then this particular shape here, you can see it goes around here. I didn't have to, I did not have to draw that line because the line is already there. I'm going to make a house, a house shaped uh, shelf. All right, so remember I said I was going to make three shelves while you are making one. I'm going to go ahead and get my next, the other part of the cardboard, which was the lid, and put one more shape on that. So what I'm going to use is this Lazy Susan to create a circle. Just laying it on top of here. And now I'm going to go around tracing around the piece, the Lazy Susan to make a circle. So if you have things like that around your home, your home, you can use the shapes, feel free. All right. And then I'm going to take my ruler and create a quick design as it pertains to what I'm making. And then I'll show you that as well. And that's all we're going to be pretty much doing today. As it pertains to the uh, background of your piece, you can use paint or you can use decorative paper, you know, gluing it on there, or both. So just feel free to get creative. Had a little mess up there, but it's okay. Once I paint over it, you won't see that mistake. And this is going to be like a really nice functional project with, that you're able to use. So I hope you all take the time to at least make one shelf. This is my next design, okay. which is going to be a peace sign. And so right now I have three different shelves. So I have to dissect the actual uh, sides from the box because I'm going to use those as well. You don't want to just cut through them. If you're not able to use scissors, feel free to get a box cutter, something of the sort like that. 
but this cardboard is fairly easy to cut. So sometimes when you see these little wall shelves in the store and the quality of them are not even that good, hey, why not just go ahead and make something on your own that will be sturdy? I'm just cutting off each section so that they can be used and separately. I'm just going to sit those to the side so that I can give you instructions on what to do next. I'm going to go ahead and cut this bottom straight off of my house portion, but being careful to keep it straight. Have you all that thought about any designs out there so far that you can make as we change to a shelf? All right, so if you have been saving a box, don't let it overwhelm you. Once you get these pieces together, everything else is just going to come together really smoothly. It just takes a little bit of work like anything else. So I have those cut off, my two sections. This is going to be my house shelf, my Africa. And let me pick up those pieces. Put them all together. So this is the start of our new project. This is basically the assembling, assembling process. How to get everything started for you. Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sides off the box for the piece shelf around and even though you might have some ideas you can anybody have any ideas you can what else you can do with a circle so far i've said two i'm making a peace sign now and we already said something about a yin yang sign i just thought about one anybody got suggestions for another circle type shelf why y'all so quiet out there today? A clock. A clock. I was thinking about what about making it. That's a good idea. I was thinking about what about making an eye. You know, putting an eye. a circle in the inside or, you know, making an actual eye. What about your letter of your name? Oh, that'd be great. That'd be good, too. Especially, uh, you know, if you want to personalize it for your own space, your own personal space, you know, first names are good. And if you want to just honor your family, then last names are really good as it pertains to the initial. That's a good idea. So even though you might have a circle and I'm making a peace sign, you can make so many different things with different shapes. I was just even thinking about if I added a, a sorry, if I added a point or a cone down here, then it will be an ice cream cone shelf. An ice cream cone. So, because this will be the ice cream. However, you can change the style of it a bit. You know, you just want to um, sort of create simple designs and just have fun. Right now, I'm going to cut out this particular shape, which is going to be a house. I think that will be spacious and neat as it pertains to a shelf. 
and there's no rush. You know, you're doing this work in your own time. If your hands hurt from cutting the cardboard, once again, you can get a box cutter. I would just recommend to have a uh, cutting board, uh, the plastic kind or whatever kind of cutting board you have to protect your table beneath the uh, box cutter because you don't want to cut through your table or your any of your materials. And uh, all right, this is my house background shape design. And then since it's more simple, I don't have that many curves, I'm gonna go ahead and cut around the circle. And so as you can see, I'm utilizing this box in the best way that I can, saving all the space not to just cut through the flaps or the sides or anything, because those are gonna be other parts to the shelf. Oh, and so if, like I was saying, take your time cutting if your hands hurt. This cardboard is fairly easy to cut. It's kind of thin, even though it's still sturdy, very sturdy. Uh, I'm just able to cut it with scissors, so that's all I'm saying. And I may, I may use my box cutter as well to cut certain things and also be very careful as you are uh, doing these things. So if you needed to jot down any of these things that you need as pertains to, if you're not making them right now, to go back later, you know the main thing you need is cardboard. We wrote that down before, scissors. You're gonna need some glue. If you're not using a hot glue, then you need to have some kind of tape to tape certain parts together while you are waiting on them to dry. Here's my peace sign shelf. And although I have this piece that I cut out, I'm going to cut this piece off, save this. And me personally, even though you might not think it's really much, you might use it to uh, design something. So be mindful of that, if, especially if you only have one box to use. And the last thing I'm gonna do before I give you the next, uh, uh, sorry, the next instruction on the next part, and then we'll see each other next week. Uh, so, just keep cutting your shape out. And once again, I would have been done because I have three shells that I'm making just to challenge myself as well. And you uh, can at least start with one. However, if you want to start with two or three yourself or four, go for it. You know, you can always use these as gifts to give to people if you don't want to have too much, too many things around your home, but make sure to just have a record of your artwork before you give away your pieces to take a, a photo of them. Photos uh, mm -hmm. are nice as well. Yes? Uh, I missed last week's class. Is it recorded and is it on the YouTube? And will this one be on there also? This will be on YouTube. Uh, and the one that was from last week, we were basically showing and sharing our pieces. What happened was uh, one week, Mr. Runny was on showing his uh, piece with the foil with the tree. And I did not get a chance to record that. Um, and Ms. Jean showed her artwork. So what I did is return back to that last week. We basically just showed and shared, and I said to everybody what uh, materials that you needed for this week, which is the cardboard and everything. So that class, it, it, I didn't get a chance to upload it on Friday to get it on YouTube, but it will. that class will be on next week. 
and um, this class will be on next week as well. What size cardboard should we use or does it matter? Well, like I was saying, I just showed at the beginning the size box that I had, but uh -huh. just to get a small shape, you know, like so, you can see it's larger than my head, thank God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just want to have a large enough box to be able to create something with, but it doesn't have to, my box was huge. That's why I'm even making three shapes. So it was just what I had. You know, you have to use what you have as it meant. We're, we all are recycling, so we're not gonna have the same things. It's not like we're going out to buy uh, bought products. I mean, unless like we use toilet paper rolls, but then sometimes toilet paper rolls are different depending on the type of toilet, uh, sorry, not toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls depending on the paper towel that you use. But as long as you have an, a large enough box to be able to have a nice surface area for a shelf. Okay. My Africa. That's nice. From my head to my chest, that wide. Uh -huh. And then the house is about the same thing. It starts from my head mm -hmm. to below my neck. It's not really that large, but it still has a pretty nice surface area. Okay, thank you. No problem. Thank you for asking. And so, once again, I have a few scraps. I'm just making sure to keep those neat and put them to the side in case I need them. Now, by next class, Remember, just like when we did the uh, toilet paper roll this, uh, sorry, project here, I said to you all, next, the next week I would have mine already painted, and because the background was black and everything, I had pre-spray painted. So if I have any spray painting to do, it'll be done before next class as it pertains to this new project. So for whatever color I do want this shelf to be, house, I will have it painted next week. So that's what I'm asking you to do. If you decide to make uh, a particular shape, go ahead and have it cut out and painted next week. I'm going to have this Africa painted as well. And this peace sign. So that's three shells, although you can just start with one. That's nice as it pertains to the art. You see my silhouette on the cardboard? We can do something with those silhouettes. All right. So the next thing you want to do is probably find some long strips from the box. And if they're not long, like however your flaps are, you can still use the strips to create the sides of the shelf. And what I'm going to do is, it's no particular measure per se, but what I'm basically going to do is see how high I want the sides of the shelf to be. And this is entirely too high for me. So what I'm going to do is cut it probably about in half. I'm going to measure that first get everything out of the way, find my ruler, and then to be able to measure this in half, I have to measure the whole piece first. It is about seven and a quarter inches. And so I have to make a line in the center of seven and a quarter. So that's about three and a half, and maybe about there. All right. So what I'm going to do is make a line all the way down so that I can make my sides. Mm -hmm. sides to the shelf. Hold your ruler down strong and 
However, I know that I'm going to need more than one piece for this. So even though I have my peace sign, once I have everything painted how I want it to paint, next week we're going to, I'm not going to put this part together, but next week, as you can see now, we're able to take this around the circle and glue it. Like so. So if you want to have that step done, glue next week and paint it, you're more than welcome to and then we'll go on to the next stage. Or if you want to just have everything painted and then we glue together, that'll be fine. So I hope you all have learned just what you need to do to create your cardboard shelf as it pertains to the assembling the assemblage steps. And at this time, I'm going to take uh, any questions that you have. Lee. Yes. I have a question. Can the shapes be any size? Uh, like you said, that you use one that was like from here to here. <laughs> Can it be um, smaller if you want? Um, they can be smaller, but just be mindful that it is a shelf. And how small would a shelf be? To, like, what are you going to put on it? Uh, maybe fingernail polish? <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> yeah, maybe to be a lipstick holder. So if you actually make something really small, just keep in mind of that of what it really is. And sometimes you might have uh, small little trinkets or different art things that you've made or little figurines that may be able to sit on it. Maybe it's a shelf for, I mean, there are a lot, a lot of small things. So yes, the answer, the answer is yes, that you can make small shelves. Just be mindful of how tiny or teeny they get. All right, anybody else? Yes, could you put the measurement of your shelf in the uh, chat for me? All right. So, I missed it. I had gotten a call. Well, I didn't have a measurement. I did not give a measurement. I just basically freestyled my shelf. Oh, okay. Said, I'll just use, I'll use my own measurement then. No problem. No, I, I'm going to go ahead and give the measurement. I think that'll be kind of helpful because Miss Vicky just made me laugh when she said yours is from here to here. <laughs> <laughs> when I really can just go ahead and measure it. And um, I think Miss uh, Miss Jennifer was asking something to the nature of Oh, that house is a part of the shelf. <laughs> I don't miss Okay, that. I said I was making three different shelves. I just do that sometimes to inspire you all or to oh. just, just to challenge myself as well. You know, but I said that you can start off with one shelf. I said if you wanted to make three or four at the same time, yeah. you can. And don't forget, I've been doing art since I was three, so I get bored really easily. And sometimes I can't make, like I can't make a shelf and then go back later and make another shelf. Sometimes I got to make all mine right then and there and move wow. on to something else. All right. Okay. It's no problem. So I'm just going <laughs> to put them in the chat. So... The house is 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to write this on here. 15 across. And 12, 13, 14. All right. So my house, <coughs> house shelf is 15, <coughs> 13 centimeters. All right. And I'm going to 
this day, the width is 15 and height is 13. All right, so now I'm going on ahead to measure the circle, which is, which I, I traced that from a lazy Susan. <coughs> All right, so we got 12, 13, 14, 15. It's the, the diameter, the diameter of my piece sign shelf is 15 centimeters, period. And the Africa shelf. shelf I'm measuring from the, the the tallest height of the Africa piece down to the tip that way and across from the widest part of the width just to give some type of measurement. 12, 13, 14, 15. Kim, did you freehand the continent of Africa or did you give a template? I just freehanded it. Freehanded it. I was looking oh. at a little picture, but I it was freehanded. Oh, you are really crafty. Thank you, but if you and I've drawn Africa so many times that I guess sometimes you get used to it. But if mm. you if you need to trace anything, feel free. That's what I was saying. You can do octagons, hearts. Um, that's what I was saying. Let's okay. So the Africa shell is the height is sixteen. By uh, this. 14 and a half. So I was just thinking that um, I was definitely going to paint these pieces by next week, but being that this shelf is like an African design, I think I do have some decorative paper that could be like mud cloth or even like an African design that I think I'm just going to go ahead and cover this with. I'm not sure, but you all will definitely see next week. So I was saying if somebody could do the shape of an eye, you can do a dollar sign. You can do a letter. You can do anything that has to do with geometric shapes. Like, even though I have the slopes coming down on the sides here for a roof, this is essentially a triangle, uh, sorry, a rectangle to make a house. So it kind of started with a rectangle with a triangle on the top for the roof. And, um, Remember, we just talked about an ice cream cone. You can make an arrow. You know, your, a shelf can be like an arrow pointing one way into the house, but even though you still have stuff on it, maybe the shelf in the background or someone on the top is saying something like, go this way or stay upright. I don't know. 
don't go down. I don't know. You know, just be creative. So maybe you can make two two circles in some kind of way have the pieces, the parts where they look like glasses or shades. You can make a shade shift. Yes, Miss Jean. Be an exit sign. I saw a really pretty exit sign done one time. That'd be really nice. It was sign pretty shelf. Over the yeah. Yeah, that'd be cute. Uh, Kim. Yes. Is there going to be like a, a panel in the middle, a shelf running through the middle of the circle, like to put something on? A so each shelf will have different shelves to put stuff on, but we're just not at that stage. I'm okay. just trying to get you all to actually figure out what shapes you want to make and paint them for the next class. Okay. So actually, yes, the answer is next week we were going to be creating the shelves. And if you some kind of way figure out how to do this without my help, it will be very interesting just to see what you have come up with next week. But of course, yes, some of these cardboard pieces will serve as shelves within the interior. You see that? Yeah. Oh, I see how it's going to be now. Yeah. But even though you see this board right here is too long, you know, we have to cut them down and stuff too. This, that, the part, the portion we just did today is our background and the outside of the shelf. Like, we're just making an enclosed shelf today, but there are certain shelves that you can make that are called floating shelves where they don't have an outside and it looks like it's the shelves are just floating. So we might go ahead and continue and make one of those as well. Okie dokie. Okay. Okay. All right. So all you need is a box to make one shape. You see that the dimension is not that, it's not that long per se. It's no longer than these pieces that we made as far as like being 12 to 16 uh, centimeters long. And I'll be just waiting on you all next week to see what shape that you possibly created. And you can kind of rough draft it on a piece of paper first just to see, get some ideas down to see what you possibly want to do. I was just thinking about one that could be cute. What if it was a uh, Mr. and Mrs. and you made a uh, man's tie? But if you know it was kind of large and a, a, like a maybe a bow tie for a woman, like the regular bow and then a man's long tie, and that could be a shelf that could kind of sit next to each other. Mm -hmm. But that was just one idea as it pertains to Mr. and Mrs. There are so many things that you can make as it pertains to the sexes, male and female. All right. So, and I just thought about another one. Uh, a lot of us, we probably, a lot of people don't wear high heel shoes anymore, but we like the, the whole aesthetic of high heel shoes. Somebody could make a high heel shoe as a shelf. Mm -hmm. Even just a plain circle, you could make a record, like an album. All you have to do is put another circle inside here, make it white or silver or a lighter color and make this black and, you know, make it look like a record. You know, just be creative. I thought about another one that quick. What about making the world? You know, putting the continents on there. The globe, the world. All right. Make a planet or deep or make a, a whole set of shelves that are all of the planets. Not, so, the, not the new ones, just the nine that we grew up with. <laughs> <laughs> they, took, they took away Pluto, so it's not nine, it's eight. What? Yeah, they said Pluto's not a planet anymore, so. We ain't going for that. <laughs> all, these years, all these years, it's been nine planets. Now they're trying to add a, a million <laughs> more or take the ones away. That's my first time hearing it, Miss Bouchelle. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Took away Pluto. Okay. I hope you all enjoyed class today. And I can't wait the next week until I get some more of this stuff done to see what it's going to actually uh, be. So come on, y'all. Get that cardboard so we can recycle this and make something out of nothing. All right. <laughs> Great exactly. idea. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. So My name is Kimberly Wright. This is the class all about upcycling and recycling. I will see you all next week with your crafts. Thank you so much for joining, making something out of nothing. I'll see you all next week. Peace and love. All right. Bye. 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 Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Bye. Okay.